Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name as ever is Daniel Rosal. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the different QR code creators that are out there for Ubuntu Linux in February of 2024. So just to kind of tie this back to my previous videos, I talked about using QR codes or I suggested um, them as a way to track your physical media inventory because we're doing a lot of videos lately about optical media and creating discs and my idea was you can of course label your discs and uh, inventorize them in a, a cataloging software like VVV but you can actually go a little bit further and print a QR code to put on the dual case holding the uh, CD, DVD or Blu-ray and you can actually record a little bit of info there because there's a decent de there's a few lines of text you can fit into your average QR code so I, rec I recommended just as thoughts putting the creation date check some whether it's encrypted or VVV record. And that way we can store some good info on the disk that'll make it easier to go back into archives and uh, pull out the required physical media. So that's number one option. And just to say quickly, uh, this is, I'll put the URL here, qrgenerator.nu. There's two real types of these online QR code generators. One of them kind of is like, they're usually marketed as like QR code for, you know, easy QR codes. And they tend to host the uh, QR code or the redirect. And I think that's a bad idea to create a dependence on um, that website. So I recommend using something like this or one of the local generators. And you can rest assured that the QR code is just being uh, generated locally and it, you don't need to rely on some website existing just to host your QR code. So just pulling out, I looked at this article for a list of QR code generators on Linux. I'm just gonna close down the advertising. Um, so there is this uh, command line tool called a uh, QR EN code. And uh, so you can create your QR codes over the command line. Um, I personally am one of those Linux users who tries to avoid using uh, command line tools if there's an easier, more convenient GUI. Um, so there are a couple, and the first one I want to look at is one called QT QTQR, and it's in the ref it's in the repos. So you can just do sudo apt install QTQR, and let's take a look at this one. All right, so this is QTQR. I, ke I feel like that's a uh, I keep almost getting that wrong. Um, and uh, let's take a look at what there is in this UI. So we have at the bottom, uh, we can see that firstly, once we've put something in, we can save this QR code. And we can also decode uh, QR codes from a file or a webcam. So you can point it to a QR code you saved as an image file, or you can point it to, or you can you can hold up a code in front of your webcam, and the software will uh, will will decode it. So um, it's really simple, which I like. And uh, you basically just choose which type of QR code you want to create. The options are text, URL, bookmark, email, telephone, contact info, SMS. MMS, geolocalization, Wi-Fi network, SEPA single payment or Bitcoin address. Now the one I, the one that we're going to be using today is text. So I'm just going to use the same example of saying uh, disk name YouTube1222. And you can see as I'm typing some text in, the QR code is kind of growing. Uh, VVV record, yes. Encryption, yes check some, I'm just gonna type some random information there. And so we've built up the QR code and we can kind of watch it coming to life as we do that. Now there's a few parameter options you have here. You can choose the uh, pixel size and that's obviously the the bigger each, pic each pixel is, excuse me, uh, the bigger the QR code is going to become. But I'm just gonna reduce it down to three, which was the uh, original value. And all that information there on the left should be stored in this uh, QR code. Uh, then we have the error correction setting. It's by default lowest, but you can crank it up to medium quite good and highest. Finally, you have the margin size. So as you can see here, look, I can add a little bit of uh, text around the QR code. And then there is, you can also add a BOM character. Finally, we have the ability to save the QR code we've generated, and that will just save it onto our desktop. So this is a very simple tool, uh, it does what it says on the label, and you can create QR codes in Linux this way. The next one that was listed in this article on Linux config uh, was called uh, the QR code generator. And this is a snap package, so you can install it through snap, sudo snap install QR hyphen code, <clears throat> hyphen generator hyphen desktop and this is the program that I got back to uh, so it's just a plain text encoder so we can again type stuff like volume name um, volume name creation date 
And we can see again that our QR code is kind of coming to life. Now, this one, the only options are actually uh, you can change the width in pixels of the QR code. And then you can choose Save PNG and it'll save it. So it's actually an even more minimalist interface um, than QTQR. Uh, finally, we have Zint. And it says here that uh, Zint is the only tool on our list that doubles as both a command line and a GUI QR code generator. And uh, you've got a bit more options here. The installation uh, process as before is sudo apt install zint and zint qt. So we're actually installing two different packages, one for the CLI and the other one for the GUI. So when you install this package, it comes up in your system as zint barcode studio. And as you can see, it's actually a much uh, richer tool in the sense that you, you can use this not only to create QR codes, you can also create different types of barcodes according to the, here's the word I learned today, symbology. Uh, so we have the, if we go into the symbology menu, we can see quite a dizzying amount of standards that are actually recorded uh, in this app. So we have like the Australia post redirection code, Australia post routing code, different barcode standards used by different postal services. But then we have here the micro QR code. And if we scroll down a little bit, we have the QR code according to the ISO standard 18004. So I'm going to select this uh, QR code. And now we have kind of a familiar QR code generation process. Uh, so in the QR code, we have some size options again, error correction options again, ra raising, ranging from, excuse me, 20 through 20% 20 through to 65%. And we have different uh, options. We can choose automatic or we can choose a specific number of pixels with their corresponding version numbers. Uh, finally, we have the appearance. We can toggle the border width a little bit. We can, uh, the border width uh, on the outside, we can change the color between black and white and something else uh, and we can add a bit of white space and we can also add a border onto the QR code. So if I go back to my general options here and I can just type disk type uh, CD creation date etc. And we're generating that QR code and once that's done we can either save it uh, to the desktop. I've just saved a demo QR code or we can copy it as a bitmap or copy it as an SVG file in the vector format. If you want to input your data in a, in a way that's easier to enter a bit more text, you can click on this three dots next to uh, next to here. And this way we have a data input screen and we can choose to input data from a file or we can uh, format the data with spaces like creation date, etc. Just makes it a bit easier uh, to create the type of labeling that I suggested putting on your optical media. Finally, to tie this together with an application for creating labels, so there's a few other ones for creating barcodes and there's also a couple more for creating labels, but here's one that I installed with really much difficulty. This one is called uh, G Labels. It's uh, in the main repository for Ubuntu at least, and you can create your uh, labels here by specifying something like a template or a specific type of labels. Just to make this quick, uh, I'm going to go for this uh, this template here. And then uh, what you can do is actually bring in the QR codes that you created elsewhere. But they also have the ability to create uh, objects, barcode objects directly within the app. So if I go create barcode, uh, I can choose the style size of the barcode. Um, and in the uh, style option, we have a few different uh, few different options here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually just put in the barcode which I created uh, and saved here on my desktop as demo QR code.png. In order to do that, I'm going to click on create an image object. I'm going to click again, and now I'm just going to point it to the demo QR code file. And there we have our QR code. Um, and then I can just can position it however I want it to appear on the label that I'm printing. And you can also uh, lock the scale here as well by using the lock icon, that scale unlocked. And if I do this now, uh, we're keeping, we're preserving the aspect ratio, uh, which of course would be essential if you are uh, printing QR codes. So I'm just going to blow it up a bit and then I can put it in the middle of my sticker and print off a batch of labels with different QR codes. Hope that was helpful to give you an idea of how you can generate QR codes and uh, use them in, in label makers for Ubuntu. If you want to get more videos from me, do please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.